We accept five percent human error because, of course, I think you were human, right? Yeah. yeah me too. Oh, no. Okay. No force. Mm -hmm. Weekly Physics Lab, and Hi. today we have a uh, lab assistant, Shubhan Isaacwari, who is an AP Physics student at Melbourne High School, cool. and he's graduating from high school next year. Um, okay, so now what are you gonna do? You're gonna find me of shoe. So no, we're, we're doing mu s, which is the coefficient of static friction of the floor. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna find the mu s of the floor. There are two things, mu s and mu k, because there are the static friction and kinetic friction. The static friction when the object at rest and kinetic friction when object in motion so every object way. every object has is a limit right yeah maximum static friction so you're going to find the maximum static friction of this shoe how can you find it you're going to increase the mass okay let's increase the mass yeah because the shoe is too light by itself and these things aren't that sensitive that's right and then you're going to find the weight yeah. so let's and find by the, the way just going to say that we're going to switch between these springs because one of them is more sensitive uh, one of them is more sensitive than the other and these are the force meter is going to read the force in newton of course newton is after uh what sir is it newton oh yeah all right so named after not after all right so let's find the so you want to do slow motion i'm going to do it in slow motion you you hold it isaac you hold it all right buddy okay. It's about five no. Okay, no force. And here we have the force meter hook. So I guess you can hook it up like this way. And this was our first step. We hooked up right, the thing inside the, the shoe. Okay, now I'm going to give you the data. We're going to take a look at the data. Oh, maybe 5.1. Oh, okay. okay, a free body diagram for this shoe. When the shoe is at rest. Okay, when the shoe is at rest. Well, no, no, free body diagram is started oh, the box, yeah. not the shoe. Okay, yeah. so for a free body diagram, if it's at rest, no pulling, then we simply only have Fn and Fg. And since we already know Fg is 5 newton, Fn balances with Fg. Then Fn is also 5 newton. That takes us to step number 2. Yeah. Draw the shoe again and now this time you're going to show the shoe is pulled horizontally with 0 degree angle. Alright, so here's our shoe and now we put in the little hook thingy. Yeah. We put it in right over here this time, I right, guess. Right. And we gotta make sure that it is perfectly parallel to the ground. Not perfectly. Just make sure it's, it's vaguely parallel. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna, this is be careful. So, uh, be careful. So you're gonna tell me. Mm -hmm. You have to take a look when shoe moving. Shoe doesn't move. Shoe doesn't move. Shoe doesn't move. Oh. Shoe Boom. doesn't move. Shoe doesn't move. Okay, that's like 0.75 and it's still not moving. Tell me when the shoe starts moving. Shoe doesn't move. One newton. Shoe doesn't move. Oh, 0.75 newton. Shoe doesn't move. One, one newton. One newton. Shoe still ain't moving. Okay, 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 okay. This is intense. This is like watching a sports game. That's right. This is, that's why you're born. You, you make your life meaningful. 1.5, this is Avatar. This is 1.5. Shoe hasn't moved yet, has it? Nope. You you pass 1.5, right? Yep, but barely. You heading to two? No, we are barely there yet. We're on like one point. Oh, it moved. Oh, uh, so what is it? What one is point. It one point five newtons. One point five newtons. Yep. Okay, so one point five newtons was the maximum static friction. Yeah, because that's oh. the. Um, Max force that we needed to apply. So right, one point five. That's maximum. All right, now come over here, Shubhana. Yeah. This is F A. This is of course F F. And write exactly where you need to write one point five newton. One point five is right over Good. here. All right. So this is one point five newton. Okay, good. Now what we need to find a mu. 
So let's go find mu. Well, we know that FFS max is simply equal to mu s fn. So now, solving for mu s, we get mu s is ff max over fn. And now, just getting our data, we find that it is 1.5 over 5, which is also Hold on. 3 over 10, or 0.3. All right. And now, so now, we have to kind of understand whether it is right or wrong. One thing we know that this is less than 1. And friction has to be less than one. Friction always has to be between zero to? Well, yeah, one. One, okay, so th is this between zero to one? I believe so, buddy. All right, is this, is, is this the maximum static friction? No, that is the coefficient of static friction. Coefficient of static friction, okay, so we're gonna write mu s. All right, so this is, um, um, what should this represent, what do you think? This uh, uh, rubber, rubber on some type of wood. Yeah, this allows us to determine what type of material the thing was standing on because we know that the sole of the shoe this is, not, is rubber. This is not wood, by the way. This is tiles, so rubber on tiles. So, yeah, the material of the tiles. And we don't know what the tiles are made of. They All can right. be made from any sort of stuff. Uh, okay, so material of, so rubber on tiles, rubber. Rubber on tiles, but that's very vague Miss because Fine. tiles can be made of rubber rubber. on tiles is point three. But one thing we know that, and there is also experimental error, right? Mm -hmm. So we accept five percent human error because, of course, I think you were human, right? Yeah, but me too. 